Let's delve into the center of Mass theme, inside planning and architectonic realities. Remembering the previous speech as to say that the center of Mass is the center and represents the inner and external unity, it is the linking axis that links heaven and earth, called axis mundi in Roman symbols. This axis was expanded to the four cardinal directions, which in architectonic representation of temples, religious buildings, but also in the first installation, was represented through the four gates. A question. Why these big buildings, like the pyramids or the big architectures of the past, were oriented to the four cardinal directions by the ancient ones? The reason is not so easy to understand, but I can give you some suggestions. Imagine, first of all, that magnetism could not be a simple electric magnetic field, but the wall of flows. Let's associate for a moment magnetic laws with aerodynamic or thermodynamic laws. Then we could think that if we put a cube oriented to the four cardinal directions, we would have few flow turbulences in the corners. On the contrary, if we put it 45 degrees oriented respect to this flow, we would have more turbulences. Studies and researches in divining a non-scientific field has considered that if you orient objects in different ways, there are energetic differences. This thing, of course, is a study subject, but it is also interesting to observe that in most cases of ancient cultures, big buildings were always oriented in the four cardinal directions that let it enter in resonance with a bigger system, will acquire a bigger power. It's also true, as solar architecture teaches, that if we build a house in the four cardinal directions, this will bring a bigger acquirement and assimilation of the light and the heat inside the rooms. If we enter to the geobiologic knowledge, the study of the natural energies of a site, we will see that exist reticular fields that surround the whole Earth, overall to the north, south, east and west directions. When we find these concepts together, we can think that if we put a building in a north-south direction, we put it in an oscillation resonance of bigger fields arranged in advance. Obviously, modern science finds it difficult to bring to light this knowledge with modern tools, but in my opinion it's just a matter of time. I introduced this theme, which we can find in almost every ancient culture, just to understand first of all that the first step for every following analysis is to find the center of mass of a house. So let's start understanding better inside the house our principal subject, what center of mass means. You might have perceived that it's not a normal space, but has got its specific quality. So, as human body has a difference between its center of stability, the belly and other parts, also the house, considered as living being, will get a difference between its center and the rooms. The center represents the heart of the house, considered as a seat that identifies the picture of all the aspects of the house. We could say that it's the spiritual center, the seat of Brahman in Vastu, of great power and unity, the Tai Chi in Feng Shui. It's the seat in which energy keeps on transforming itself and changing in relation with all the other spaces of the house. The center of mass is like a vortex that in some way synchronizes all the other linked rooms of the house. The center of mass expresses the house identity. Examples. If center of mass would be inside the space as the kitchen, the house would let this space predominant and considered that kitchen is a feminine space, the result will be, just for resonance, an accent and an activation of the feminine aspects between the inhabitants' people. 
Therefore, it's possible that in that house, offering, welcoming and feeding are preferable. Differently, if the house would have a center of mass in the living room, masculine theme would be better developed, for the reason that living room is linked more to the appearance in the exterior, and for resonance we will have an accent and an activation of the masculine aspects between the inhabitants. So it's possible that social life, career and representation would be stronger in that house. If the center of mass would be in corridor, so the powers will be distributed in a uniform way, we could say that in that house a familiar democracy would be more developed than a defined hierarchy. If in contrary, center of mass would be in the parents' bedroom, a bigger parental authority would be stimulated. This confirmation would bring also more responsibility and pressure toward the parents, because the bedroom, that would be a place to relax, would become the center of all familiar arguments. This theme would be worse if the center of mass would be in the children's bedroom, for the reason that could create an excess of responsibility and pressure over the children during the familiar management. It's better if the center of mass is not in the bathroom, for the reason that it would be more difficult to contain the house energies, because the bathroom is a place of great replacement, also a thin replacement. We will see in a detailed way in the following courses the values and the best planning for every room. It would be better if center of mass were far away from the flues, because it would be disturbed by the fast rise of the power. Furthermore, we would have too much firepower, but we will talk about it later. The center of mass inside the house could have several thin nature effects, which could affect the psychological effects. And what does it mean if the center of mass is inside a load-bearing wall or in a pillar? We remember that the load-bearing wall got a static power that in this case is expressed in the center of mass. This will generate a blocked center of mass and means that the house heart is stopped. There's not fluidity in the house. Inside this house, between the rooms and the center of mass, there's not a replacement. Remember that in the classical level, in ancient China, as in ancient India, center of mass was an area opened toward the sky in which rain could fall and the air was oxygenating all the rooms. Today we have to recall these ancient studies for the urban reality we live. This theme will be faced again more times to try to understand better how today exists a set of theories and interpretation that has to be valued through the ancient classical essential requirement. For this, if we have a center of mass inside a pillar or a wall, the house power will move slowly and consequently inhabitants' people actions will be produced with effort. If center of mass is in a vacuum point or in a personal garden but also in a neighbor flat, it means that there's not a house heart, it is gone to someone else. Who will live in this house will have more difficulties to create a family and contain it in an harmonic way. A center of mass positioned in stairs is not in an ideal position, because stairs have a power that move continuously up and down. So the center of mass will be influenced by the action of people who goes up and down continuously. It will be activated so, in the long period, a continual movement in the heat of the house. The effect will be that the people of that house probably will travel a lot, they will be not much present. Also, if the center of mass is a geometric point, for this study will be considered the center of mass area, that is the central zone of the house. 
this is the first step to do for an analysis of holistic methodology for a site of a house. The search of a center of mass could be found through several ways. We will see in the next chapters, in a specific manner, how to find it and regulate it.